Okay friends, so today I'm going to share with you my eggless puff pastry which has no butter in it either. So here I have one and a half cup of all-purpose flour or maida. We're going to use just a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of clarified butter and one fourth cup of water. Now I'm just going to empty the flour onto my work surface and I'm going to add a pinch of salt and then I'm going to add the clarified butter or the ghee into the flour and then with my fingertips I'm just going to let all of the ghee you know get really into the maida till it starts to resemble breadcrumbs so this should take you about three whole minutes but do this process it's very important to give that lovely uh, light puff pastry and now you can see that it you know all of the ghee has got into the maida now you're just going to add a little water at a time and you're going to knead this into a nice firm yet elastic dough so it shouldn't be a soggy dough it shouldn't be a very dry dough it should be a real soft dough and very very elastic so take your time with it and keep kneading it really really well so it becomes really nice and soft and then you're just going to set it aside and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes now in the meantime we're going to prepare a mixture of half a cup of corn flour and one fourth cup of clarified butter or ghee and you want to mix this really well using a whisk or a fork till it becomes very light and creamy. So this took me about 5 minutes but this is also very important. And now I'm going to dust my work surface with some flour and I'm going to roll out this, uh, the dough and I'm going to cut it up into exactly 6 pieces six portions and we're going to really uh, you know uh, knead this well till it forms nice smooth balls so this is an eggless recipe it has no butter at all so it just has clarified butter so once the balls are ready again you're going to dust a little bit of flour on your work surface and you're going to roll out each of these six balls into very thin sheets like this or rotis and since it's very elastic it's very easy to work with it has a different consistency so roll all of these six uh, sheets and just keep them aside now i'm going to put a little bit of that corn flour and ghee mixture that we prepared rub it all over the uh, sheet really really well to all of the corners and then you're going to place one of the sheet, other sheet on top of it and just bring it to the same shape now you can roll all your sheets out or like I am doing I'm rolling you know one at a time and because of the space and then again I'm going to add a little more of that corn flour and ghee mixture spread it out and then take those two sheets place it on top and then again roll it till they all come together so in this way we're going to repeat the process till we are done with all of the six sheets so now we are done with all of the six sheets so now just put the remaining paste on top of this on top of the to top more sheet and then just fold it up like this and then you're just going to roll it out as flat as possible that way all the sheets have come together and then you're just going to roll it out into a big sheet like this as much as you can and it's so elastic once you make this you'll realize how easy this is to work with and then
this. Then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you'll get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.